The St. Bonaventure Bonnies are coming to town to shape its arena. We play them one time and one time only this year. I have a very high regard and great deal of respect for Jim Crowley and what he's done at St. Bonaventure. He's built a, a tradition up in that small little campus up north and uh, his team, um, their, their conference record is not indicative of all of, of how very, very good they are. They return an all-conference player in Katie Healy who can score in a, a variety of ways. She's guard-like, she's post-like, she can shoot it, she can dribble. She's a, a, a matchup that we're going to have to be very conscious of. Nyla Reeder is another player of theirs as a freshman, really had a nice freshman year. Uh, has been a little streaky, but uh, as of late has played very, very well. Uh, they're, they're a team, and, and again, Hannah Little has returned to the lineup, uh, Gabby Richmond. They have their entire team back outside of one player from last year, a team that won 20 games. Um, they played in the postseason. They were second in the conference. Very, very dangerous. A team currently that has a 13-12 and 12 record. Um, they're, they're, they're finding um, some difficulty in some of their conference games, but they're very dangerous. They're playing very well as of late. Uh, they're coming off a game at GW on Sunday, but prior to that, their game with Fordham, they played very, very well. Um, but the Billikens are, are um, in a different place than we've been uh, in, a, in a long time. We're, we're in a position where we're starting to play some really good basketball at the right time of year. Having Sadie Stepanovich and Jenny Vallee garner the A-10 awards this week was, was a great compliment to our team. Anytime there's an individual award, in my opinion, that's a team award. It took everybody to do what we did last week with GW and with Davidson. I'm really proud of the players. I'm proud of their focus. I'm, I'm very proud of their uh, confidence that is starting to uh, be a little bit more visible. We're sharing the basketball at a very high level. 74 to 75 percent of the shots that we make come off of a pass, which means uh, we're sharing the ball at a very high level. Turnovers have been down. Defensively, we've been pretty, pretty tuned in. Uh, we have our errors here and there, but uh, we have made a, a, a point of trying to continue to still at this point in the season get better. We haven't done anything yet. We've won a few games, feel good about ourselves in those regards, but practice every day is, is a brand new day, and you're only as good as your next game. And our next game is against a really good St. Bonaventure team. So it's imperative that we tune in um, today in our last day of preparation for them with the Sky Report, with understanding um, the very um, dangerous team that St. Bonaventure poses in terms of their ability to score, defend, uh, they've had success. They have tradition. Um, they're coming to our place, and with only two home games remaining, uh, three home games, I'm sorry, three home games remaining, uh, we want to make sure that we finish strong here at home. Um, a crowd coming. We ex we, we're excited about our students and our, our coaches and faculty that have been invited to come to the game and, and come early uh, for some hospitality and some free food. Uh, at 6.30, please come and join our team as we continue to get better, continue to grow, continue to, in my, in my, I hope and pray that we continue to soar forward. I love this group of young women. Uh, they bought in, they're in, and, and hopefully even better basketball is yet to come.